Hey YouTube, it's Dory here, and today I'm coming to you with a gold guide with how to make gold over the Christmas event. Now this is mainly going to focus on um, toys we can sell and the Minion of Grumpus Mount. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do, I'm also going to show you how to get all the toys from the previous years as well, just because it's all part of the event, and I'm a bit of a toy collector myself. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to gonna, we're going to want to come to our Warlords or Draenei Garrison. So you should have a Hearthstone. Um, if you deleted it, then that wasn't really smart. The Alliance one will also have a vendor as well. Um, as you can see, a little Christmas tree vendor just here called Izzy Holly Fizzle. Now she's going to sell us um, all the events for the Merry, or they're called Merry Supplies, and also the Spooky Supplies from the Halloween event. But um, obviously, we can't do that right now. So the main things we're looking at here is the Crash and Thrashing Killdozer Controller. Now this is a toy that you can sell. As you can see, my market base is about 30k. Regional sale is about 10 to 15k. So obviously right now the price of those are going to crash because it is the Christmas event. Um, usually around like July, August next year, um, when it's about eight months in, they usually go quite up. You can, you know, probably sell these for about 5 to 10k. A lot of people are going to be farming these though, so I'm not too sure how the price is going to settle. Uh, the safest way to make money is with the uh, battle pets. Well, not so much the battle pets, mainly the mount. But the mount is a 3% drop chance, and that drops from the savage gift here. Um, and it costs five merry supplies. Now the merry supplies are a currency you get from doing these quests. So there are four quests which give you five merry supplies, and they're dailies. And you can do this on any toon over level 100, as long as you can get in the garrison. You might be able to do it on like a 90-ish toon. I don't have one to test, so I can't confirm or deny it whether you can or not. But if you have a level 100, I can confirm that you can come here and the mobs are scaled to your level, similar to how Legion works. Um, there are also the vendors here too that sell like those fruit mince pies and all the other random things. You get a couple of recipes and stuff like that. But now once you've got those quests guys, what we're going to do is we're going to just fly across and we're going to come here. And this is where we do the quest. Now if you hoard, I believe Alliance and Horde both have the same questing circle. I could be wrong, but I am pretty sure they're all going to come. Actually, I'm, I'm like near certain they're all going to come here. So if you hoard it is much more efficient because obviously uh, Alliance garrisons in Shadow Moon Valley. So we're just going to fly across real quick. I'm going to speed it up while I fly there and then I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do these quests. It's literally um, just kill eight little grublings, kill the boss guy, destroy five gifts, just destroy five gifts and free six children. So we're pretty much there now. I'll just speed it up real quick. Alrighty, so just coming in now. Um, as you can see, yeah, it definitely is Alliance here as well, so they've got the same quest. This is the quest guy we're going to kill. Um, you can, like, you know, you help them out and stuff, but usually I just tag it because there's usually, like, five or six people here killing them. And then you just want to want to kill or tag as many grumpings as you can. You need eight of these. And then you want to open these cages as well. Um, sometimes there is nothing inside to free in these cages, so you're going to want to make sure you get a cage where there are little guys inside. Uh, as you can see, I just freed three children. Really easy. And then, um, yeah, there is also these unusual gifts on the side here. And then you have to actually cast a spirit bomb to destroy these, which will shape you out of form. Now, another way we can make gold in this event is with the battle pets. Um, the easiest ones to get are the grumplings. Now, they have a chance to drop inside these snow mounds. I recommend farming these on a druid because, as you can see, it doesn't shape you out of flight form. You can just fly around over and over and farm these. Um, last year, I found, I think, Upwards of about 30 or 40. There you go. I've got one right then. I think they're not they're not really that common But as you can see like the regional sale average was like 500 gold So it really didn't yield too much for me and um <laughs> Probably not worth the time I invested to be honest with the amount I sold I think I did sell some for around four or five K But at the end of the day, I don't think it is the best way to make money I think a lot of people will be farming then and you will just really I don't know waste your time I think the best thing you can do is get as many characters level 100 and uh, try to farm the um, mount from the Savage Gifts. The mount in this year went for, I sold one for about 180k. Now I actually sniped that for 169 gold, which I was really excited about. It was probably my best snipe I've ever done, so I was really excited with that. I got off the AH for 169, I think it was, and sold it for 170k or something around there. Um, I'll have to check my TSM to see how much I got for it. But um, So they do sell quite well. I think I sold that in around October as well, so it was pretty late in the year, and people were still wanting to buy that mount, because it is a really low drop chance. Now, last year, I did try on all my level 100 characters, and I was unable to get them uh, on any of them. So it's literally 3% drop chance. You can do it every day on every character and open a new chest. The other thing you can do is buy the toy from that vendor, and you know that way a bit more guaranteed income down the track. But again, I'm not sure that, you know, if everyone does that, you know, it could be like 300 toys on your servers, 3,000 toys on your server, and then, you know, you might not be able to sell them. 
So I'm just going to speed this up as we fly back, and then we'll open my savage chest, and then I'm going to show you how to get the toys from the previous Christmas. So it actually allows you to get the toys from 2007 up to 2017, I believe, or 2016, I want to say. Um, it was just quite a few I missed out on, so it is kind of cool catch up. So I'll show you how to do that really quick, the quickest and easiest way you can. Um, I actually won't speed up because we're pretty much here now. So fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully, I will get uh, Mini of Grumpus because I'm yet to learn it. I'll probably learn one if I get it now. Um, so as you can see, you just want to hand these in. You get the um, Merry Supplies. And yeah, so there's a couple other things you can buy. You can buy decorations for your garrison and stuff like that, which is completely pointless in my opinion because I don't really spend any time here too much. But this is it, the Savage Gift. Um, you used to be able to get XP potions in it, the 300% XP potions. Now, they have skyrocketed to 300k on my realm. And I do think they're going to go up. So if they're quite cheap in your realm, I recommend stockpiling them. Because they're changing the leveling system. I think the potions are going to be handy. And they are near impossible to get. Because they used to drop in these savage gifts. They seem to be taken off the loot table. Which is making the price of them go up even higher. So fingers crossed guys. Here we go. Let's see if I get my minion grumpus. Nope. I got some apex crystals. As you can see, minion grumpus, one try. I'm not too sure why it says that. I've done it on a few characters. But... Anyhow, so that was completely pointless, that whole chest. The next step we're going to want to do to get any toy from the previous year is you're going to want to go to Dalaran. Um, this is the quickest way. I do recommend taking a Goblin Glider because I did um, take the portal to Dalaran Crater on my Monk. And I actually just fell and died. So it was really a bit frustrating. The run's not too far, but nonetheless it was still frustrating. So we're going to go through here and then take the portal to the Dalaran Crater. Uh, which is right next to where we're going to do the next quest. And uh, you can actually pick up the quests in the Dalaran Crawl, in the Hillbred's Foot Hills, I think it's called. I'm not sure what the stone's called. So we're just going to come here and take this portal. Now, it does say warning, big drop. So you can actually die from this. Most of the time, you do land on, I think, about 10% HP. But I would still be careful. Let's see if that person dies or not. Mm, they didn't. So usually about 20% HP. But 100%, guys, I did die there the other day. Uh, so you're going to want to come to just near... You can get this quest in Orgrimmar, but I tend to just save my Hearthstones because I use them a lot. Um, there's a little snowman in the woods, I think just about here, or like next to a tree, and he is going to give us the quest. Um, this The mob that uh, you need to kill does seem to have a pretty slow spawn time. Might actually be a little bit off here, might be a bit down here. I haven't discovered this on my Drew, so... Alright, here we go. So he's just in the trees up here. So the mob we need to kill spawns here, and he seems to have like about a five minute spawn timer, which is pretty annoying. So this strange snowman here is going to give us a quest, and he's going to give us a stolen present. Uh, hopefully I won't get ganked here. I'm pretty tanky in bear form, so I should be alright. Alright, so we're just going to loot this, and then eventually a big kind of grumpus thing is going to spawn again, and we're going to kill that. So I'm just going to speed it up while we wait for his spawn. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. So finally this guy spawned, it did literally take about 6 minutes or so, so I'm not too sure like what the spawn timer is, I'm guessing it's going to be about 10 minutes or so. Uh, there usually is quite a lot of people here, I think there's only like 4 or 5 people here now, but it doesn't take too long to kill. Uh, so we're going to kill this and then we're going to hearth back to Orgrimmar and hand in the quest. Well you have to wait a few seconds because the reindeer there, we've got to free him, so. But he just walks out and then you're pretty much done. Nothing too hard. Alright, so now this little reindeer dude's going to run out. We're going to quickly talk to him. Oh, I think I accidentally thrashed that guy. But there we go. So it automatically does it for you. So you don't need to do anything. Then you just want to hearth back to all Grimmer now. And then we're going to hand in. And hopefully I will get a toy I haven't obtained already. But yeah, guys. This was just a quick little video to show you basically the best way to make money through this. Which is going to be the mount. So make sure you're doing those garrison dailies every day on each character you've got and you've got a three percent chance on each character to obtain uh the minion of grumpus and it does sell quite well um i've currently sold it for 130k and really the dailies take honestly like three or four or probably about five minutes to do that like, it's really quick and easy good way to make some gold uh, i hope you enjoyed this video please um you know like comment and subscribe um it does help me out you know you know let me know what you like what you don't like and yeah guys good uh stay tuned to see how you can win the wow token giveaway and I'm just going to quickly fly and hand in this quest and hopefully get a toy that I don't already have, which would be amazing. So I think I do have quite a few toys at the moment. I've got 237 out of 450, so we're getting there slowly, guys. So fingers crossed we'll get something I don't already have.
Uh, you can also get a 880 koi in, uh, 880 trinket in this. So as you can see, using rarity, you can see there's a lot of stuff I've got, but quite a few I don't have. So fingers crossed, guys. Here we go. And I got a football, which I don't actually have apparently, which is really cool. So that is another toy to my collection. Hey guys, just a quick addition. I forgot to mention in the uh, stolen present. You can actually get some toys which are not bind on pickup and you can sell them on the auction house. Now I believe that is all the lounge cushions and they range anywhere from about 10 to 20k gold. But again it will go up when it isn't the event. And also the Rotten Helper box which is a battle pet I believe that you can sell as well. So a lot of the stuff you can get in there you can make money on. And really that quest takes about 5 minutes and definitely worth doing on every character as well so good luck making gold guys i hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day and stay tuned to see how you you can win this month's wow token giveaway thanks guys to enter the wow token draw for december head across to my multi battle pet farm which is linked at the end of this video leave a comment on that video like that video and make sure you're subscribed the winner will make a character on my room and I will transfer them the current gold value of a WoW token, and then they can choose to buy a WoW token or buy battle pets or do whatever they want with the gold. Good luck, everyone, and have a good day.